Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. I'm calling this one Missouri Land, and I got some trout in the background. These are uh, native rainbow trout, and there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of water around this area. There's a bunch of rivers and lakes where you can go fishing. This is in southern Missouri, north of Arkansas. On um, I forget the name of the lake. But it's like really big, popular fishing lake. I'll pull up some maps and I'll tell you the name of it. We're asking uh, $750 down for this property and $200 per month if you want to do owner financing. So I'm on I'm on the website, realvacantland.com. We've got uh, Jason Lydiard's, um, his, his name is here. This is his property. Here's his contact information. You can't totally read it behind my head. But if you to get to this website, click on the link in the description of this video and it'll take you back to realvacantland.com. It'll take you back to this part of the website. And on this part of the website, you can click on his phone number and call him and say, hey, Jason, how about that property in Missouri? I want it, right? He's asking 8,499 bucks for this one. It's got one heck of an ID number. I'm not even gonna try to read that off. Uh, area 1.15 acres. So if we go down, I got some maps. This one's been on the website for a bit. We got like almost 2,500 people have looked at this thing so far. Nobody's taken off with it. I don't get it. A lot of people ask me for Missouri and nobody's taken off with this property. There's a bunch of mobile homes in the area. It looks like you could put a mobile home on this property. I bet you if you look at the legal description of the property, it's multiple lots. I think it is. Yeah, look. So down here, you've got legal description, Cedar Hills, block two, lots one through nine. So that tells me that's nine different lots. I bet you, you could put nine different mobile homes on this property if you wanted to nine different homes sites, you know, so a lot of people are asking me for a property, they could have tiny homes, small homes, you know, community, all that kind of stuff. It's really hard to do unless you've got a property that's split up like this. So this thing is in one APN. And what I would do is I would call the county and just make sure you could, you could split it into multiple ones, because it's already mapped out into nine different lots, you just follow the lots that are already mapped out. And you could probably put your whole family on here or everybody that's in the same fishing club as you that wants to live in this area right because if you look at this area whoever it is right i get those kinds of questions a lot if you look at this area there's a lot of fishing in this area so here's the lake this is um um look at the size of this lake why can't i think of the name of it it's right at the tip of my tongue um you know so this is the uh i think this is the the Buffalo River comes down here, flows into this, and this is um, Baxter Lake, or, you know, Norfolk Dam, Norfolk Lake, and oh, why the heck can I think of the name of this? Guys, you're going to have to put the name of this lake in the comments because I can't, can't think of it. I'm sure we're going to get it here. Bull Shoals Lake. Yeah, huge one. Bull Shoals. So, Bull Shoals Lake. So, we've got Mountain Home right here behind my head. Mountain Home. Bull Shoals Lake. This lake goes and goes. It goes up into Missouri, Arkansas border right there. My hand gets cut off. This property is up that crook in the lake. So you could go get in your boat and drive all over this lake. It's going to take you, you know, if you go too far in the lake, you're, it's going to get dark before you get home. It's that size lake. Like you're going to have, you spend the rest of your life, life trying to bass fish all the nooks and crannies of this lake. It's going to take a long time to get to know this whole lake. This is a huge lake. So, Here's the area, there's a marina down here, like you could launch your boat there. There's Highway 160. Ledbetter Hollow, I bet you there's good fishing over there. And this is your chunk of land. Bull Shoals Lake, Package and Liquor, they're, you know, their names all over the place. Some shops, a boat shop, there's a Dollar General, there's a high school, there's a gas station, Hungry Bear Cafe. You could go get some pancakes there before you go fishing first thing in the morning, right? And so for everyone that's always asking me for a property, you can have multiple houses on the same property. Take a look at this one. This one can do it. I'm pretty darn sure you can do it with this one because it's split up in a whole bunch of different lots. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, let me jump out of this. And so we're back on the website. There's a buy it now button. You can click on that to go for it. I think that takes you to the cash checkout. There's a terms thing. If you want to do terms, Jason's doing terms. That's a seven hundred fifty dollars down, two hundred a month for forty eight months, and um, all kinds of information about it, taxes, fees, and stuff. 
So there's the property. If you're looking for one in Missouri, take a look at this one. It's on ruralvacantland.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.